My name is Rhapsody, welcome back to Slay the Spy for the Daily Challenge for the 4th of June 2020, the character is a defect. Modifiers are Chimera, Horda, and Midas. We can see that Burst is up there with a 2045 score. Very far above everyone else. If it wasn't Burst there, I would suspect, uh, suspect a little bit of shenanigans going on, but it is Burst, so I know it's legit, which means that's possible, which means I need to find out how to do it. Uh, I want to go to as many shops as possible, as well as as many normal places as possible to pick up the benefits from Horda. That is to say, to get more... Yeah, I'll just play it normal. Uh, to get more of our... Hold on, hold on, uh, to get the deck as thick as possible, as quickly as possible, with as many good cards as is possible. Okay. Easy kill. So I've also got to try and keep an eye out for getting collector's bonuses. Draw two cards, add a burn into your discard pile. We're never going to reach our discard pile at this rate with the, the Hoarder. So, yes. Or after a little bit, we're not going to reach it anymore. Right now, we still will. Okay. Decent play right there, I think. We can start playing Overclocks from this turn. Although that sets us up pretty well to only take one damage, and then, yeah, kill. Overclock. I mean, sure. Uh, eruption backline, strike the front, and then, yeah, we'll just have double strike next turn almost certainly with the overclocks. Claw? I mean, they work with the overclocks quite well. Sure. Let's go for it. If I'm going to be stacking a bunch of a single card in my deck, I mean, <laughs> might as well take the one that makes all of the rest of the copies of it in your deck much better. Probably should have done all of this. Yeah, first. Waited for the eruption. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is this deck? Um, out of these, I'm actually not any keen on Annie. Let's rip and tear the most out of them. So I'll take rip and tear, and then so I just come up with one focus. No focus doesn't really matter to us. We'll take the toolbox because sometimes that'll give us a mind blast. We bought a kind of mind blast. Throw one out before I do it again. There we go. We got the eruption. That's what I was looking for. Whoop. Ha. Get him. Get him. Get him. Got him. Nice. No, I'm just <laughs> uh, Every time you play 10 attacks, gain an energy. There's also skims here for more card draw. Uh, this is this is getting to be too much card draw. Oh, shouldn't have gone this way. I forgot that we have Midas, so we can't smith at rest sites. I remembered that we had Hoarder, so we can't remove decks from the Merchant. But I forgot that we had another modifier there as well. Uh, that'll have to do. Oops. I severely overestimated the amount of damage I was about to deal. Go for the eyes. Yeah, I kind of want some more zero cost in this deck with the amount of draw that I have. Shuriken! Whenever you play three attacks in a single turn, gain one strength. Oh my god! Oh my god, though? I'll take a magnetism here, happily. And get one claw out. Okay. Oh, trip is a great way to open this might now. So it's Claw, go for the eyes, go for the eyes, get the strength up for Rip and Tear. Defending is going to be really hard, but we've still got... Oh my gosh. Violence just draws, like, definitely lethal. Ornamental fan! When have you played four <laughs> three times a single turn? Game four block! Oh my god. Uh, I'm going to take auto shields over the... Should I take over shields over the Claw? I'm going Claw. We're going all the way with the Ornamental Fan and the Shuriken. Yeah. 
definitely, definitely, definitely should have gone on the outside path at the very start there. Three attacks. Two strength on that turn as well. Easy kill on a backliner. I would love Sweeping Beam also for this deck game. Care to give me a Sweeping Beam? Care to sweep me off my feet? With a Beam? Yeah, I was worried we were going to be just short here. Fine. Fine. We've got enough damage left in the deck that we, yeah, definitely should be okay. <laughs> oh, what a claw some daily. All right. I'm just going to start throwing out attacks there. Free up some space in hand. Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Especially as we realize now that we could have had an eruption on them. Hologram is just more draw or more claws. As well as a little bit of defense. Definitely take the Mind Blast here. Pew. Got him. Scheme is a collector's bonus now. Oh god, Guardian's going to be wild as heck. Okay, I think... We start, yeah, just throwing stuff out. It's claw, claw, go for the eyes, claw. Okay, and then claw, claw again. Strike, rip and tear, rip and tear. So we got three points of strength on that first turn. The only problem is the rest of the deck, not now that much defense at all. So unless we can kill, uh, we're going to need defense right now to find the ability to kill. There is no way to defend myself right now. Not in this hand. Well, if I can't be defended, then all I can really do is go all out for damage. That is entirely my fault, based off of the fact that I was like specifically turning down defense. The auto shields is a great example of it. Curse of key. Yeah, I'll take it. Especially because I would like to find Dubu Doll, but... Uh, before we get that, I'm still going to enjoy having it. Just for the Curses modifier, if nothing else. Okay. Option, throw, throw. Let's go... Thinking ahead. And a claw. Rip and tear. Sorry, I forgot I was still logged into Discord and had to sneeze and just quickly buy Discord. Boot sequence! That's exactly what I'm looking for. So now I get 30 block in my opening turn. Upgrade all strikes and defends or remove the rest of my cards. Do I have any strikes and defense in the stack? Wait, no, I do. I have three normal defense and three normal strikes. Um, eh, it's probably upgrade them. We're going to be continuing to pad out the deck. Let's hologram back the overclock. Go again. That's exactly the reason I got that hologram. Block Potion would have been great. Uh, beam Cell for Vulnerability. I do want the ability to put Vulnerability on my enemies. Speed Potion doesn't really help us, but a Block Potion does. If we just had the Block Potion in the boss fight, we, everything would have been fine. Sing Bowl, when any card to your deck, you may gain 3 max HP instead. Uh, I'll give you Weak. Dang. I was going to give Weak based on my prediction that the enemy was going to be attacking this first turn. But now that they're not... Yeah. It's hard. I'm 
One short of fully defended, but we've done almost no damage. Got two points of strength, though. Eh. Ornamental Fan is doing so much work in this run already. There we go. Uh, go for the eyes. Ooh, reprogram, though. Gain one strength, gain one dex, and they're both upgraded. It's fully upgraded. As much as I want to go for the eyes, that reprogram is rarer. Happily master strategy there because the rest of those would have cost me more. Oh my god. Just got those double reprograms there. And they're just going to launch out a whole bunch of strikes. God, that's a good first turn. I don't care if this deck gets a good score. This is ridiculous. Get clawed. Frozen egg, whenever you, power uh, whenever you add a power card to your deck, get it upgraded. Now we can take the go for the ice. Yes, we probably should have gone for charge battery there, but no, I'm not going to be doing that anymore. We're going all aggressive. Hmm. Prevent the next two times you would lose HP. I like it, but is it a sweeping beam tiny chess question card though? If I was still going for score, I would have bought, uh, bought the leap there. Oh, hello, my boss. Good to see. You. Don't even know if I'm going to have the ability to play you right now. Dang. Hang on. 50-50. Got him. <laughs> Very well done there, game. I'm going to hologram back for a... Uh, I guess it goes just a mind blasting over the kill. Turbo. Gives us all the extra energy so that we can actually continue just drawing and drawing and drawing. We want more skins in the deck now as well. We also really want to increase the size of our opening hand so we can go off more reliably. Cool, cool. One sweeping beam this turn would do it, so gotta make sure that I do all of my draws first. All right, I'm a hologram back a sweep. Apparently there is no sweeping beam in there. Oops. Pretty sure that's where it was. It's all good. We found it anyway. Eventually. Oh god! The lightning did no damage! Oh, I was so ready to just let the fight end! Wolf one is hilarious here, but do I want it? Yeah, fine. I'm breaking Pauper's bonus to get an awful one. Too good. Too good to turn down. Sure. Finesse is just a little bit of extra draw. Come on, more skins. Or master of strategy in a shop. Now that I'm buying rare cards, I can actually go for that. Okay, let's hollow back a. I'm gonna hollow back for a go for the eyes. Just spread the pain. Make it much easier to defend this turn if we happen to have to. And managed to. Which will save us 25 on the score. 
Why am I still focused on the score? This is... Why do I focus on score when I could just focus on claw? Right? This is what I'm trying to get through. Why not Why not just... Why not claw? I... Uh, fine with none of those. I could have taken the FTL, but I do so much drawing that oftentimes the FTL would be a bad claw. Effectively. Uh, I have to choose one of these, don't I? Yeah, I'll take that one, I guess. I'm glad that I have a draw potion, which is going to be very, very handy in the boss fights, just in case our opening hand isn't that great, but still. It's not an elite fight, so I can't really justify using a block potion. Let's go Eruption, all for one, and then just like any of these. <laughs> Scrape is also a really good way for us to draw into more of our zero cost because we have so many of them. It's like secret weapon here. Hmm. I was planning on using Secret Weapon to pull out a All for One. I have to use it to pull out a Scrape. Planning for us to have a much better first turn than the reality was. But now, any all for one pull would be really good. I'm also leaving a... Ooh, nice. Yeah, I'm also leaving a... D -d 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 where are you? Boot sequence in the deck. So we might be able to pull it back with an all for one pull. Uh, which allows us to defend ourselves. Where we otherwise might not have been able to. We're going to overfill our hand with cards here, I think. I love that we get turbo as well, so we actually get more energy doing this. So that we can do things like this. I'm going to hollow out... Hollow out turbo, play turbo... Sweeping. Turbo. Skim. Overclock. Yeah, the curses are a problem. The curses are definitely a problem for this. But it's still going real well. Another awful one. Eam cell. Go for the ice. Got him. Turn one. Turn two? That might have been turn two. Uh... Uh, what do you have for us, though? Extra energy per turn? No. <laughs> no longer discard your hand. Definitely not. Uh, during the boss and elite combats, gain energy at the start of your turn. This is just going to be energy every turn for us because we do not exhaust those orbs. So I'm going to be going on the right path here because there are more shops. Ooh. Oh, this is already looking like a great turn. You love to see it. Just kill you easily with the rest of this. Bullseye, sweeping beam. I'll take a sweeping beam for the collector's bonus. Impatience actually seems good here, too. Very good in the opening hand. Just a shame we had such a bad opening hand, though. With three boot sequences in the opening hand, taking up 60% of the space in there, I understand that we are going to have bad opening hands. That's why I'm trying to get so much draw in here, so that we also get a draw card alongside that, so we can draw ourselves out of having a bad hand. That's not always going to work.
With these stats though now, should be able to pretty quickly end the fight. There we go. As soon as I get my awful one. <clears throat> like a couple more copies of that in the deck though. Eh, that'll do anyway. Uh, three copies of genetic algorithm pre-upgraded actually. Like if this was earlier, I would have taken that, but I'm fine now. Attack potion out of nowhere can be very powerful, but is it more powerful than any of those? Not really. Okay, snap and regret. Hmm, guess I'm taking risk discovery. There's another regret. Do I have a collector's bonus of regrets? No, but I do have curses already, so I don't need to go for that. Go for the eyes. Do I have a collector's bonus on go for the eyes? I think I do. I do not. Okay. Take the go for the eyes. And I don't want to pair multicast. It's nothing I really like with it. Mind blow. <laughs> nope. Never mind. Doo doll. Good enough. <laughs> Start with uh, six strength each fight. Gotta love it. I'll take the Gremlin Horn whenever an enemy dies. Gain an energy and draw a card. I'm also going to take the Abacus here, though the fact that I'm never going to shuffle my draw pile seems like a detriment. It is just an extra relic for the possible I like relics bonus at the end. I'll take a uh, hologram. Have we got enough holograms for a collector's bonus now? We don't. Take charge batteries as well. And I think I will hold off for the later shop now. Dang, I wanted that to hit the reprogram. Mm. I don't need to protect myself here, but yikes. Go scrape first. That was definitely wrong. As it turns out, but hindsight's 2020. More turbos? Do we have turbos enough in the deck yet? We do not. Guess I'll have a look at a thinking ahead here. Uh, just looking to pop zeros back atop the deck for the sake of the scrape. Nothing here happens differently. Oh gosh, don't like this at all. It's the biggest defense that I can pull back. Actually, it might be Skim and looking for other stuff. Which it was. Skim found me the equilibrium. Uh, so if I now use the block potion, I would block for just short. I'd block for 40. So it's not saving me the perfect tier anyway. Nice. More claws. I mean, I have to. I am bound to go for those now. All trades there just seems the most useful. Most directly obviously useful at least. Fine. Chrysalis, I'll bring back the reprogram and throw out only one claw on this first turn. And he is actually doing the largest hit that they can do, unfortunately. It's the best defense I can do, but again, they're not an elite. So I don't really care about popping any potions. These two block potions might just be important for a single turn block in a boss fight, and that's all they really have to be important for. Let's make sure those skims keep coming. And now we should be able to pretty easily clean up 
The scrape doesn't betray us. We're going to be exactly one short. Going to let the lightning do it this turn then. Colorless, not really that necessary. Also not really that helpful. Take the scrape there though. Coria, merchant, uh, merchant restocks cards, relics and potions, or price is decreased by 20%. Let's remove a card from the deck. Um, hmm. I'm going to remove a boot sequence, make my opening hand a little better. Sorry, Ornithopter. Oh my god. We just, we're now up to 15 curses. We now have 15 strength at the start of every single fight. <gasps> Violence! Put three attack cards from your draw pile into your hand. Yes, these rides are going to be annoying, but... Everything just got so much easier for us. Program again. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad Tuvu Doll eventually turned up. I knew it would be kind of the salvation of the run if it did. And here it is to be that for us. Beam Cell. I might not have the collectors on that yet. In fact, I don't. Upgrade all cards and I can no longer heal. That is a lot of cards to upgrade. A lot of them get an extra draw. My god, this whole run has been so wild. Just wild as heck. I'm already well blocked in the first hand, so I'll take the swift strike. Okay, my... Opening hand is pretty bad. So it goes. Start out, we go for the eyes. Triple strike before a sweeping beam. I would like another sweeping beam as soon as is possible if you would game. Ah, it was literally the next card on top of the game. Uh, on top of the game, on top of the deck. But I went straight past it. Because it wasn't zero cost. Dang it. Okay. Uh, to empty out this hand a little. Gosh, I wish I could just hold on to the All for Wonder right now. Okay. I couldn't, but I do have the ability to bring it back. Everything is okay. We're going to win this one now. Okay, Hologram brings back the All for One. All for One brings back all of the rest of the builds. And we easily kill. Those uh, block potions could have been used in other fights, as it turns out. But a 28-minute run with 15.37. Yeah, it's not even going to be on the first page, is it? Yeah, two perfects. If we'd perfected the first boss, we'd have 16.37. I'd feel a lot better about it. We did not end up with I Like Shiny, I think. 5, 10, 15, 20, 24. Oh. So I, for some reason, I thought this shop was here. I thought that when I chose this path, I chose this path because it has a shop at the start and a shop at the end. That's what I was referring to when I was like, oh, we'll just go and buy things in the shop at the end. And obviously why I was still excited about the courier. Unfortunately, that didn't, isn't a thing. So I guess I might've joined these two spaces and just thought that we were going to be going up through there. Dang it. Uh, that would have helped us get a much higher score. We would have had the ability to get a couple collector's bonuses there. Possibly Mind Blast. No, that really wouldn't have mattered at the end. But we would have been able to get the collector's bonus. We would have been able to get, obviously, I Like Shiny. Would have been able to bump up maybe 100 there with as much money as we had. Probably at least 100 extra points. So I'm thinking, like, we could have landed an 8, uh, uh, 1700. Which would have put us up there. Never mind, we're still on the first page. Not awful. But yes, you can definitely go much better than that if you perfect the first boss. So uh, the auto shields pickup in particular seems like it would be really good for allowing that to happen. For the moment though, that was a wild run. My name is Ben Rhapsody. Name of the game has been Slayer Spire. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. There is a playlist in the description down below with all my content on this game, past, present, and future. And hopefully we'll see you next time.